On this day, two years ago, New Yorkers awoke to one of the worst subway incidents in recent history. Occurring during the early days of the global pandemic, a fire ending in a tragic result had erupted in a subway car in Harlem. This is the story of the fatal fire. In the early morning hours of March 27th, 2020, Mr. Garrett Goebel, a New York City subway motorman, was operating a northbound 2 train formed of 10 R142 type subway cars. As he was pulling into the Central Park North 110th Street Station in Manhattan, a shopping cart within the second car of his train suddenly caught fire. Quickly, the fire engulfed most of the train. Approximately three minutes after the fire had erupted, at 3.18 a.m., FDNY responded to the scene. It took upwards of 100 firefighters to control the flames. Mr. Gobu, along with his conductor that morning, quickly sprung into action, evacuating passengers from the train and off of the platform, despite low visibility because of the smoke present in the tunnels. A northbound 3 train, which was behind the 2 train engulfed in flames, was also evacuated. 16 people, including 5 firefighters, were injured, and unfortunately, the motorman of the 2 train, Mr. Gobu, had passed. Police investigators suspected that the fire may have been connected to three other fires along the 2 line that morning. One at 86th Street, another at 96th Street, and the final at 116th Street. Unfortunately, I could not find any information on if they confirmed these incidents were connected. Police officers questioned Nathaniel Avenger, a career criminal with 39 prior arrests, at the 28th Precinct on March 31st, four days after the fire. He was suspected of starting the fire on the train in addition to fires elsewhere, including one at the Columbia University Computer Music Center on March 11, 2020. Avenger was charged with murder on December 18th, 2020. Then New York City Transit President Sarah Feinberg had this to say. There should be no tolerance for any form of violence in our transit system. Fires, sexual assaults, assaults on our workers, these are crimes committed against the very best of New York. The brave men and women who show up and serve this city each day to keep us all moving forward. The Central Park North Station was closed until April 6th, while repairs were made. Unfortunately, what I think is a very grim discovery is still visible. The R142 units involved in the fire are numbered 6346-6350 and 6366-6370. The fire had erupted in car number 6347, which ultimately suffered the most severe of the damage. The trailing consist, number 6366 to 6370, was returned to service in November of 2020, while the leading consist, number 6346 to 6350, was taken out of service and sat in the 238th Street Yard for over a year. Recently, the consist was towed to the 207th Street Yard in Manhattan and according to DJ Hammers, will be stripped to provide spare parts for other R142 type cars. This incident truly is a tragic one, and it only further proves that we need more effective ways to get the emotionally deranged and mentally ill out of the system, so we can prevent incidents like this from happening again. I didn't mention it earlier in the video, but I would like to show the mural at the Flatbush Avenue station, which the MTA unveiled in May 2021. Rest in peace, Garrett Goebel.